All right, I'm not gonna even lie. I've been trying to upload for the past three days, but honestly, content has just been lacking. You know, I go to thrift stores and I find one item, I find two items. And I'm not gonna upload a video with just me finding one or two items. You know, a three to five minute video is not worth it. You know, I'd rather save the three days and then upload it today so you guys have a full 10 plus minute video and it's actually like an episode, not just a little, uh, you know, trip to one thrift store, he found one shirt and then he's on to the next. So we are gonna be hitting up the thrift stores today. Like I said, it was kind of the past few days footage also combined into today's footage. If you're not aware, check the link down below, emcvlogs.com. Most of the stuff that I do find will be listed on my website, link down below. And every purchase does help support make these daily videos. You know, I don't have another side job. I don't sell on eBay and I don't sell courses or any of that BS stuff. So make sure you guys do. So if you guys want to help support these videos, go check the link down below. Take five minutes out of your day. I have about 100 items listed. So, we are going to hit up the thrift stores, enough talk. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it, guys. I would normally grab this kid robot shirt, but to be honest, the neck is super stretched out, so I'm just going to leave it behind. Kind of cool, though. Little Aztec. McNabb jersey. Sadly, it's a cutoff. Probably a woman cut it off or something. This shirt feels like it's brand new. We have the Logo 7 made in USA. Brickyard 400, 1996. Then I did find this reprint Pink Floyd. You guys like these, because honestly, I put them at $10, and you guys, you know, you guys cop them instantly. $10 plus shipping, you really can't go wrong. You have this uh, King of Pop, Michael Jackson, 1958, 2009. Wish it was double-sided, but still a nice all-over print. And we have a uh, 9-inch nails on an M&O tag. So it seems like it's a little bit older, not single stitch or anything, but a little cracking with the 9 inch nails box logo. 1984, Bruce Springsteen, double sided, tagged right there, 1984, it's a really small shirt. Uh, it's on a medium, but it's super small, but 1984, pretty sick. Not many good shoes, it seems like these are some Vans maybe, oh it's hard to pick it up. Van super beat though, five bucks. Nikes. Straight off the new rolling rack of the Burberry London. Little blue flannel or little plaid shirt. Let's see what else we can find on this rack. As soon as we find that, that means that no one else has really gone on this rack because why would they leave a Burberry, you know? Jack Spade. Oh, another Burberry. Look at this Fat Farm denim jacket in like a 5XL. That thing's huge. Oh, look at this though. Polo Ralph Lauren denim jacket. Little RL patch on the back. It's not bad. It's a 2XL. I think they want 10 bucks though, so maybe we'll leave that, but we'll put it in there for now. What's oh, this? Boxy jeans. J. Crew, Stitch, Pelly Pelly, 3XL. This thing's huge though. Mazo, 2XL. Seems like like someone dropped off all their. Oh wow, you guys know I love Paige jeans. I'm actually selling all mine pair. Crop roll up, size 30. These are crazy. Nike little like running shorts. this uh, just right there Nike well that was a nice little rolling rack two Burberry pieces Ooh, look at this vintage Tommy Hilfiger woman's color blocking sweater the blue on the back a little turtleneck they want eight bucks for it though mmm falling out a girl probably leave that for somebody else Let's see if there's anything else I missed see if there's any men's clothes probably not because they probably put all the men's clothes over there but it's worth a shot right yeah this is all women's clothes look at this towel. today's lunch consists of taco bell quesadilla chicken with extra sauce Well, I guess last time I was here, I didn't get all the Ferrari. Just on this Ferrari Club of America, Florida region. Spring track event. 
hopefully we find some more. Old school Nike white tag. We have the Nike USA on the back of the USA. National truck. Or, oh, what is this? National Coaching School 1998. Long sleeve Harley Davidson. You have the Gator Harley Davidson. Pretty sick. Stuff on the sleeves too. Then we did find this Nike jersey. Yellow little hit. And then a Polo Ralph Lauren. I'm not sure if I'm going to grab both of those, but just in case. I thought this was Tommy at first, but we have the Polo Sport little bathing suit with the navy red and white stripes going down. Nice little essential for summertime, size XL. Oh, caught. Let's find it today. <laughs> You guys know I've wanted to get this. This is the smaller version, I think, though. Casio, Invicta, Invicta. I was like, oh, this is a pretty nice wash. I didn't even realize it's Polo Ralph Lauren uh, Rugby. It's like a faded wash red. Really nice fade to it. And then while I was looking, I actually saw these in the corner of my eye. Vintage Tommy Hilfiger jeans. Little uh, pocket shorts. Has a little flag up there. It's a size 31, 32. Probably pick it up just because it's a pretty common size. Imagine how both of these things at your house. Hank Williams Jr. That's so funny. It's this little Disney anniversary clock. These Cortezes, twelve dollars. Polo Sport. No good shoes today. Sperry's. Another pair of spares. Supreme at the thrift, bro? Nah, no way. There's no way you found Supreme at the thrift. I swear, bro, I found Supreme at the thrift. I really hate coming to Goodwill on weekends just because look how many people there are like in the, this is just the men's section. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like 15 people here versus a regular day, there'll only be like one or two. And as far as shoes, look at those. Those things are crazy, like brown and lime green. Brand new Adidas D Rose, two of them. Uh, let's see, let's see. Anything else good? Some black Samoas, some Airwalk boots. You guys remember Airwalk? Those are so old. If you guys remember these towels, I'm actually gonna grab probably two more, just because for six dollars they're such good gifts. Public chicken tenders are probably the best. Public chicken tenders. Public fried chicken and the subs, like anything Publix related, you really can't go wrong. You guys are probably confused because this is my second time eating in today's video, but like I said, I had to combine the past three days into this video just because the content is, hasn't been there. So I don't want to post three minute videos, so that's why I had to do three days of kind of make this one video for you guys. Well, I must say, my towel collection is uh, pretty nice, but like I said, I and did give two to my mom. Two to my dad. I'm gonna keep two and then I'll have two extras just as. Oh, wait a minute. Two, four, six, eight. And I actually have one over here. So I actually have nine of them. I must have thrown away a box. Oh, wait, no. There's actually. No, I do have only eight. So yeah, eight. Uh, two for my mom, two for my dad, two for me, and then two for. Uh, just kind of as backup. Like for six dollars, I really couldn't complain. Like these towels are amazing. And the reason why I like these towels so much is one, you can put them as a backpack. So as you see, you have two handles right here and you can basically just wear it as a backpack. But there's a secret pocket that's a zipper. So basically right here, you'll see you have a zipper pocket. You could put your wallet, your keys, anything valuable 
then zip it up and leave it on the beach and then no one's gonna know that you have valuables in here. Like, they're just gonna think that it's just a regular towel. They're not gonna know that you have a wad of cash inside here. So that was the main reason why I got these for $6, just because a towel that has a little hidden pocket is honestly uh, an essential thing for Florida. And I almost wish I would've just bought all of them, but I think eight towels is good enough. And like I said, I do have a bunch of personal clothes I did take out of the out of my closet. All this stuff is from the personal as well as just stuff I got in uh, the past couple days and you'll see in this video. Uh, all of it is listed on my Instagram as well as my website. Not all of it's on my website, but most of it's on my website. Um, so just check it out, link in, below, link in bio. So I'm gonna quickly edit today's video, throw it up to you guys so you guys get it by 8 p.m. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Come back tomorrow for another video, 8 p.m. I am uploading a video tomorrow, so make sure you guys come back for that. Check link down below, emcvlogs.com. I uploaded a bunch of new stuff. If you wanna use PayPal or Cash App, just send me an Instagram DM at DITR954. I'll definitely hook it up for you. I'll, you know, if you guys wanna do bundle, whatever the case may be, just send me an Instagram DM. Also, follow me on Instagram. I post a bunch of stuff that sometimes I don't list on my website, and I always list the stuff first on my Instagram. So if you guys want first dibs on anything, make sure you guys follow me there put post notifications on my store because I'm always uploading steals and deals on the story. Someone actually, like for example, the helmet laying joggers I'm selling, I have it priced on my website for 80, but on my Instagram I did 65. So it's just, you know, you guys wanna f get steals and deals, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another vlog and don't forget guys, let's get it.